they escape over the wall, I should like not kill them. I should just let them run free. Oh, oh, we got a runner. <laughs> yeah. Where is he going? I don't, what's he even targeting? Hey, welcome to another episode of Chaos Craft. I'm Matt with Schematical. And today we're gonna to be working on building stuff. It's a, a lot of fun. I talked about this a little bit last week. I actually ended up with a ton of good footage on this one. So it's just gonna be one segment of basically the bots building stuff. It's pretty exciting. Before I forget our streaming schedule changed. I'm no longer streaming on Fridays. It'll be noon Eastern US time. It's New York time on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So feel free to join us. I think Tuesday is probably gonna be a little more dev heavy and Thursday I'm gonna have a nice clean showcase. I'm gonna try and have a nice clean showcase ready for you guys each week. Um, if you guys like neural nets, Minecraft, AI, learning, crazy inventions, uh, hit that subscribe button, maybe a like button, give it a share. And if you're really interested, help support us on Patreon. Without further ado, here's the bots building stuff. How's it going? Got the clustering stuff all working. Oh, this is really boring to observe this. Let's stop observing that. Okay, here we go. Check out all the pretty colors. Wow. This you, you know what this means? They must have jumped block place to get up there. There's no one's on the stream. Oh god, this is that's amazing. They're jump block placing. And he's trying to attack me. Okay. Wow. That we just kicked this thing off strong. And there's nobody on right now, theoretically. Look at this! What? They're trying to escape. Ah, no one's on the live stream. This is insanity. Oh, why? Did, okay. I need to like lure people in here. This is nuts. Look at this. One guy almost escaped and there's no one on here. Look at this guy. And he's dead. <laughs> okay. I'm going to clean up these because they're clearly unhooked blocks. Well, they're doing jump placing. Are they, did he even jump? He just kind of placed. Are they jump placing? Look at that. They're just kind of like shooting themselves up. Okay, that, that may be a bug I gotta work on. Oh, these guys are trying to escape. This is interesting. Oh, oh, he's almost got out of there, but he doesn't care. He doesn't want to leave. No, he died. Okay. Man, they are building like crazy. They're, 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 they've developed a form of block jumping, like literally in the last 10 minutes, where they don't actually jump, it appears. They just somehow use the block to shoot themselves up slightly if something's not got a colorful line around it i need to destroy it because that's from a previous reset they almost escaped they just didn't seem to have the ambition to leave they like built a bridge kind of so yeah see they're not really jumping though they just kind of place it or else it's a very strategic jump but there's not really raw output so it's unlikely that that's the case yeah, he's just kind of pro propelling himself upwards. So we're trying to get him to build patterns, and so I reward them for building patterns of blocks, basically. So he just kind of shoots himself up there. Neural net. So this is this guy's neural net. Okay, so we want to find an ICIT. Yeah, is target candidate type. I keep forgetting I'm on screen. It's freaking me out. No, no, no. Don't pick up the spawn block. <laughs> that would be... That would be unique. Yeah, they're they're digging more too right now, which is interesting. Oh, I got you, buddy. Nope, I don't got you. Okay, I got you. Well, this is interesting. So they can. Yeah, this guy's got quite a quite a bit going on here. Uh, the position, the relative position, neuron is taken over because there's it's three to the third power, twenty seven options for every single block that they discovered how did they observe lava lava that's weird that they could see lava well let's check out what their observed attributes are because they are evidently observing a bunch of stuff all right so we're going to refresh this again i need to make an interface for this so the reason we're using the code inspector is because i haven't made an interface for this yet but it's on my list of things to do but let's see what blocks they've seen before Coal ore, stone, obsidian, crafting table, oak log, iron ore, grass, chain block, oak sign. So they've got, they could, they have all the stuff. Barrier, bedrock, wall torch, cobblestone. They've got all the stuff to, that they can 
basically use right away. I don't know how they observe the lava. The lava's pretty far away. Redstone wire? Where do we... Oh, yeah, we probably have that for a command block. And, the, yeah, redstone... Oh, man, they so they can actually see when they scan. They can see all the way into the other pens. So you need to start making the pens slightly further apart or else I need to somehow barricade their vision into this pen, basically. I guess there's walls of lava there, so if they if any of them are close enough to this. I also need to blacklist like command blocks and stuff like that. Like allow them in the game, but not allow these guys to see them. I don't really want them interacting with command blocks yet. Well, this is a unique development. I did not expect this at all today. The thing is they're placing directly below themselves a lot, which is interesting. But I mean, they also place in front of them. So why, why directly below themselves so much? He, I think he placed that one over there as well. And then he just placed one over there, and he died. So it's not all directly below themselves. What's this guy doing? He's tossing and picking up dirt. Boss. <laughs> That's kind of cool. They placed it around the spawn block, but not directly on it. Oh, I thought he was navigating for a second, but no, he was just getting his butt whooped. He's almost out. He just doesn't care to leave. He just wants to go higher and higher. We really need the navigation neural net. First, I, and also, they're not switching. That is a problem right now. That was the problem I was tackling right before this thing, and somehow I ended up doing this. I wonder why he selected over there to target. Now he's back down to his feet. He's probably trying to place a block right where he is at, and then it's just telling him, nope, can't do it. They're not quite jump placing, but heck if they don't want to, like, rise up. You know, they, they've... They're, they've figured out a way to kind of jump place. They're not placing it above them as much right now. A couple of them could have escaped. They just kind of stand there, though. They don't navigate. They just jump. Or they don't navigate. They just stand there. Which is why we need a navigation neural net. Or it could wire in baritone. So the colors, for those of you guys who knew this, represent a cluster. So multiple blocks placed that are their sides are touching so not diagonally like well i guess that chest you know wouldn't count so they have to actually be touching the face of it but the problem that we're running into right now is that they are not changing up things in their inventory they're using the same block and but they're placing like crazy right now i could not have asked for a better start to this stream i really want the item stuff to start working and it appears that they can get the neurons, but it's just not, doesn't happen that often. Because I saw this fire off, I think on this run, it just doesn't happen too often. Oh, did you guys see that? There was stone, there was stone placed. Someone placed stone. Now, that could have been because they ran out of whatever else they're placing because clearly that neuron is not firing yeah i uh, speak of the devil here we go okay so that neuron someone got that neuron so maybe that'll become more prevalent as we go i haven't rewarded them for diversity in block placing yet either which is partially the problem here so and i mean i can wire baritone in too i'm probably going to do that First, just to speed things up. Oh, here we go. Set current value of one, and they identified dirt. Lovely. The thing that they're already placing. They are capable of jumping, but there's only one area that triggers the jumping, and that's typically if they've failed to hit their target within three seconds, it chooses one of three behaviors. Jumping is one of them, so it's, it would have had to fail for three seconds. And I'm not sure. I mean, I guess it could have failed for three seconds. It could be trying to place it. That's right. I guess it could be trying to place it. Then it decides to jump because it's failing. So I had a check here that checked to see once they were done placing is the block solid. And it would fail if it didn't. And when I removed that, it just gave them a couple more milliseconds for the head to line up and for the server to sync back up, I guess. And this is a funny thing. This is all done server side. So I don't know how the math is that far off because it thinks it's looking at it. So, and then once I did that, it was like, no problem. We're just gonna play stuff all over the place. 
So let's look at this guy. This guy, he's looking straight down. Yep, they're okay. All the ones doing the block jump trick are looking straight down, which is good. I don't know why they're looking down so much, but yeah, they're they're behaving. They're definitely thinking things through. The ghost block bug. They just keep coming back. I actually don't even remember what this does. Oh, I think it clears everything out. I'm coming to save you. Too late. So yeah, Nito, uh, version 1.1. If you look here at our neurons, right? Uh, so some of these things require, they have variables to them. Like, well, this one's actually from an enum, so this we can generate right away. So there's only two states to this. So this is one that you can have right away. So each time a species entered a training room, it had no idea what was in the training room. So it didn't have any block-specific neurons so for example like this one's this one checks the type of the item right here and so it hasn't picked up any items yet or observed any items so this type of neuron wouldn't spawn with them right away same thing with is looking at and this is a, a using an eye which they do have but they had no idea what blocks were in there so there's no, no neurons unless we had some preset neurons in there but there were things like health input they always have health, so that's set to default because it doesn't require like them to have learned about it, that species to have learned about it. Well, that was inefficient in the fact that because I built base this thing off neat, which you have a standard amount of inputs and outputs, and they never change. Uh, I think as far as I know, I'm one of the only ones, if not the only one, with neat O where the inputs and outputs change significantly because they learn about them the same way a player would while they play the game, you know. We toss my mom in here who's never played Minecraft into the lava maze. All she needs to know is lava, not lava, really, to solve that thing. And so, but you still need to observe that, hey, there's lava in here and there's not lava. Once I did that, and I, originally I, this, they were at a species level, so each new species we had would restart without any knowledge. Well, I said, you know, the way we're doing it now, that's kind of silly. It would make sense in a survival type, you know, thing where... Creatures in a desert biome wouldn't need to know about the ice biome creatures as much until they wandered over there. But here, since they're all, every single creature in this experiment is going to have the same blocks and items at their, you know, at their disposal here, these guys don't really need to know about lava. They actually managed to see it, though, which is annoying, but they don't need to know about lava for this. So but we made it on a training room basis. And so that gives every new species the advantage of having access to those neurons. Also, we reweighted because the way NEAT worked and my modification to it, they the default neurons still got more preferential treatment for getting new neurons. And so you actually had to like, they had to actively try and add a new input or a new output. But when I said add new dependency, it would use whatever they already had. So that was really weighted towards any other thing they already had. And now every single possible permutation is available to add neurons for. And also has the added bonus of if you look at their neural nets in here, that we, we don't need to store inputs and outputs that aren't actually in use, which we didn't really need to before, but it's just how it was encoded. So because because we figure out every single new one that they need every time. And so right here, you can see they're much smaller. Remember, we had a bunch of junk floating off over here and over here. So, yeah, we've got oak leaves. It's not really going to help them with this experiment, but whatever. So we're just going to reward them for clustering at first. So they're, what are they, Gen 1s? Yeah, they're not that bright yet. Let's see what we got for scores. Okay, something's wrong with the scoring mechanism. <laughs> no one's got scores in their Gen 1. Uh, debugging on the live stream. You know what? I wrote this totally backwards. Okay, there we go. What's my score? My score is one. Good. Go. Score is three. That's good. They put two blocks down. The clusters. And we're trying to dig a spawn block. Par for the curse. Of course. Curse. All right, looking at the species now, we've got 92, 153. I mean, look at that. They're building stuff. Is there any rhyme or reason to it? I doubt it yet. I should give them points for making like smooth surfaces too. That might be something to think about. What do we got here? What do we got? 
Someone's tossed their wool on the ground. Okay, that's good news because that means that someone had to choose to toss their wool. Otherwise, they tossed everything else and just that's all they had left. Yeah, see, that's a cool structure there. It's a solid, oh, it's not quite a solid block. Yeah, it's still kind of cool. Yeah, okay, there's, I did see the guy running placing. If they escape over the wall, I should, like, not kill them. I should just let them run free. Oh, oh, we got a runner. <laughs> yeah. Where is he going? I don't, what's he even targeting? God. Go, go. What are you, what are you, what are you targeting? What do you got? Invalid, completed, completed, dirt. He's just, he's just, he's just running off and, okay, well, he's placing um, stone right now just because he ran out of blocks. That's cool. So I left for a little bit, came back, and they've built these interesting little mushrooms. At a first glance, very similar. There's one over he here. There's one over here and there's another one over here man they're all over the place but i'll give you a hint that they're uh, directly above spawn blocks so they uh, their heads get stuck in them and they die somehow they've managed to glitch out my block removal stuff which is not super surprising and are now killing themselves in mass using mushrooms not really what I'd hoped for, but interesting nonetheless. All right, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, and again, if you guys like this, you know, hit subscribe, uh, support us on Patreon. A reminder, we'll be streaming at 12 o'clock Eastern U.S. time on Tuesdays and Thursdays now. So that changes up our streaming. There's no more Friday live stream. You get twice as much content, though. Thank you to my patrons, and uh, have a great week. Go out there and crush it. Bye. I don't know why. I should really not put Willem Dafoe there. He's creepy. I think the Dalai Lama is much better. Should move that so it's less like there's a weird guy there. Never mind. Yeah, something definitely went wrong with my code for clustering. And now the blocks are a psychedelic disco ball. It's really cool, though. This guy gets it. It's like a rave or something. Just need to play some Nirvana in the background.